take a moment to read the question. So we have to find out the number of real roots of the given equation. The options are shown over here. So how do we do this question? Well, first of all, let us take a look at e to the power x plus e to the power minus x. Now this expression can be written as e to the power x plus 1 divided by e to the power x and that is always greater than or equal to 2. Now e to the power x is always positive for all values of x. So over here we have used this particular inequality. So the sum of a number and its reciprocal is always more than 2 for all values of a. Now here is the left hand side of the given equation. So we can say that this must be greater than or equal to 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared plus 3 times 2 which is equal to 8 plus 12 plus 6 and that is equal to 26 but the right hand side is equal to 7. Now the two sides cannot match and therefore there are no solutions at all for this equation. The correct answer is option A. Now we can also add the number 1 to the left hand side and to the right hand side of the given equation. So we get this expression is equal to 7 plus 1. Now 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. Now the left hand side of this equation can be written down as e to the power x plus e to the power minus x plus 1 whole cubed. So over here we have used this well-known expansion of a plus b whole cubed. Now the right hand side is 8 which can be written as 2 cubed. So comparing the two sides we can say that e to the power x plus e to the power minus x plus 1 must be equal to 2 which means e to the power x plus e to the power minus x should be equal to 1. But we already know that that's not possible because e to the power x plus e to the power minus x must be greater than or equal to 2. So this is not possible and therefore this equation has no solutions. The correct answer is option A.